mine is yours and what's yours is mine. Tonight's a special night on the show. We had a local radio contest, and the winner got a chance to come on the show and meet their favorite performer. And well, they chose me. So let's give a big round of applause to our winner, Jamil Hassan. Hey, how's it going? You know, I love the way you do, Anton. And you're so funny on Men on Film. <laughs> well, Jamil, actually, um, that's. That's my brother Damon that does that stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're the coolest DJ. I can't believe that you get to hang with the Fly Girls. She, <laughs> um, actually, that's, um, <clears throat> that's Sean, um, who's the, uh, DJ. Right, right. How could I be so stupid? Oh, it's all right. <laughs> you do an amazing Tracy Chapman. <laughs> no, no, um, actually, that's, um, that's my sister Kim that does Tracy Chapman. Who the hell are you? I'm Keenan Ivy Wayne. Who? The, the guy, the guy who put the whole thing together, the, the executive producer. You're the man in charge. Yes, yes, right. That's me. I'm the man in charge. You're the boss. The boss. Now you got it, Jamil. There you go. Yes, that's here's, what I do. I'm the, I'm here's the, the pen and paper. <laughs> now, what would you like? Could you give me their autographs? Crucification of this song. Now you probably want the eternal life mission. It's down the street and around the block. No, I'll come to be all I can be. Cause I've been what I've been and it ain't paying too well. Let me ask you something, boy. Huh. What do you think you have to offer the army? Well, I'm glad you asked, <laughs> sir. See, cause I'm an entertainer, you know. If you gave me five dollars, I could go over to Salty Armenia and entertain the troops, see? Cause I'm a regular boogie woogie music boy, cause I'm boogie woogie music boy. Here, camouflage that for me. Now listen to me. I am in the business of signing up real life soldiers, maggot! Maggot? Hey, I ain't no maggot. Hey, I ain't never been with another man before. Who told you that, Clarence? He's lying. He's lying. I'm telling you. All right, once. I was desperate. I needed the money. I was drunk and down out. Don't hold but it. I don't have time for this. I'm in the middle of a rapid deployment. Well, I'm in the middle of unemployment. So... You know, as much as I would love to send you over to Iraq, mm -hmm. I don't think you'd last 10 minutes. Okay, just for instance, what would you do if you had to engage the enemy in hand-to-hand -hand combat? That's no problem. See, because I'm skilled in the martial arts. I know Tai Chi. I know Taekwondo. And I know Tyrone. He taught me all that stuff. You know, you know like how to take a rope. Well, anything becomes a weapon. You take that out, you, you steam all your life. Oh, that's the secret weapon, yeah. Oh, my God. What is that smell? Well, that was a sample of my nerve gang. Sambo? Hey, 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 hey. I want to serve my country. Look, I'll give 
you five dollars if you just get out of here and forget you ever heard about the army. Whoa, Come on, take it. The guy down at the uh, Navy office gave me five. All uh, right, here's ten. Well, the guy in the Coast Guard. Uh, here's twenty-five. Just go. Twenty-five. Get you forty-five. Forty-five. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. Oh, hey, hey. hey. It's time for Training Men, the Woodhouse way. Hello, I'm Barbara Woodhouse. You know, men are like dogs. They scratch, they chase tail, and they're always doing things like licking your face when you wish they'd just curl up and go to sleep at the foot of the bed. That's why I've taken the lessons I've learned from taming dogs and applied them to men. Because, you know, if you train a man properly, you can keep him for a lifetime. Tonight, we have three couples who have volunteered to share their problems with us. And your name, dear, is... Alison. Hello, Alison. And your man's name is... Tom. Tom, what a good boy. Yes, you are. What a good boy. Yes, sir. You have to encourage them, you see, dear. Now, tell us what your problem is. Well, the thing with Tom is every time we go out, Tom yes. will go through the door, yes. slam the door tightly behind him, and leave me standing out in the cold. Now, I've talked to him about it several times. And it hasn't worked, has it? Talked to you. No, no it, it seldom does. It seldom does work. Now, what sort of collar are you using, dear? Collar? Yes, well, judging from Tom's size and his temper, I would recommend a number seven Wilson adjustable spike. You see, what we're going to do is keep the lead straight up in the air. We jerk them and we love them. You see, we jerk them and we love them. Now, let's you and I go for a nice walk, shall we, Tom? Come now, walkies, walkies. That's right. There we go, right through the door. There we are, dear. Walkies. Tom, you're going through the door with a lady. You see, you're going through the door with a lady. Try it again, shall we? Walkies, walkies. Tom. <laughs> I said you're going through the door with a lady. Yes? Try it again, shall we? Walkies! Walkies! After you, ma'am. Now, why don't you hold the door open for me, Tom? Sure. There, Alison, you see how simple it is? Now, why don't you take Tom for a nice walk in the park? There you are. Off you go, children. Walkies! Walkies! <laughs> That's a common problem, haven't you, dear? Yes, my man leaves the toilet seat up. Oh, my, you're a naughty boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Now, do you use a magazine or newspapers to uh, discipline your man? Well, well, nothing, really. I, I you know, I... I find that magazines have just a little more sting, hey! you know? A little more crispness. Now, let's you and I walk over here, dear. Yes, we're going to touch the toilet bowl. You didn't hit me with that magazine again. Oh, no, dear, I was just having a little fun. Oh, hey, you know? Yes, now touch the bowl. It's not going to bite you. It's Cold. It certainly is. But we women have found that out the hard way, haven't we? Yes, we certainly have. All right, now, close your eyes and sit down. It's a piece of cake. That's right. There we go. And in we go. What the hell is wrong with you? Well, that's what happens to women when naughty men like you leave the seat up. We fall in, don't we? Now, in the future, you're going to put the toilet seat down, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes, you are, dear. Yes, you are. Now, off you go. Oh, dear, dear. Thank there you, you are. Thank you. Now, Karen here has the most difficult problem of all. Yeah, yeah, well, apparently no matter what I do, Harold can't seem to stop looking at other women. Oh, my goodness. That's the problem. Well, let us judge the severity of the problem thusly. Susan, would you walk through now, dear? <laughs> Do you see what I mean? I most certainly do. You're a little rascal, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're a little rascal. Now, in a case like this, I normally prescribe a prosthetic cone-shaped collar, which severely limits the movement of the neck. Say, 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 what the hell are you doing with? Now, you'll be a good boy, and I'll give you a biscuit. Would you get out of my face, you ugly heifer? Oh, my God. I believe he's got rabies. Yes. Well, you know, Karen, why don't you and I go down to the, how would you say, um, discotheque and find you another man, shall we? Wookies! Wookies! This has been Training Men, the Woodhouse Way. For the last... You've seen her special version of the national anthem. 
Now hear other patriotic tunes butchered by your favorite slob, Roseanne Barr, in her new video album. See Roseanne as she scratches her crotch or hawks a big loogie. She spits, she scratches, she belches. The way her singing stinks, you'll swear she's done something worse. But nothing could be worse than Roseanne Sings America. sings a man. It'll leave a lump in your throat, but not for very long. Hey, yeah, 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 what's up? Yeah, hello, Luther. Hey, what's yeah, up, Phil? Phil from the record company. <laughs> yeah, I'm just calling to see how the Two Life Crew song for the new We Are The World album is coming. Oh, man, it's going pretty good, Phil. You know, I'm putting the finishing touches on this song right now. All right, that's, that's good. Luther, now I know we went over this before, but remember, this is a charity album for world hunger. No vulgarity. I just, maybe I know. So, see, I, I got some young baby girl right here, man. I'm going to write this song for her. Good, good. I'll see you in the studio tomorrow. Hey, that's a dollar bet. Yeah, later, man. All right, let me see what I got here. <clears throat> now, it's winter in the city, and the streets are white with snow. There ain't a creature stirring except a mangy old stank hole. <laughs> Okay, okay, now here we go. Uh, he's living in the subway and he's feeling kind of sick. He says, my God, it's cold. I'm going to freeze. <laughs> oh, my trick elbow. <laughs> no, I'll come back to that later. All right, I got a homeless man. He's in the snow. What's he do? What's he see? A uh, Oh, my God, 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 God. He goes into a shelter. And you see, you're so cute, little kitty. But the host says, don't you pet those. Come here. Don't go there, Luther. Is he not? You keep it clean. Come pet my doggie that was born in the Twin Cities. <laughs> no, that don't work. I let me get it. Let me get it. He looks around the shelter and he smells a fresh baked cookie batch. But. The hoe won't let them eat them. She says, here come eat the cake. I'll pay from scratch. Says, but it's clean. Okay, so you need just one more line. Let's keep going. The hobo falls asleep in bed. His covers are all tucked. But the hoe won't let him sleep. The conclusion of this sketch has unfortunately been banned in the USA. Back to the stock exchange before four. Oh, sure. Let you go and bezel your millions while I struggle to get by off a minimum wage? I don't think so. <laughs> Homie, don't play that. Sit down. I don't feel like it. I said sit down. Nay. Homie D. Clown. Herman Simpson, we know all about you. I'm Sally. I'm your new parole officer. What's that, Sally? It's your file. Let's see. Abusive language, failure to perform prescribed... Save your breath. That's just another long list of lies perpetrated by the man to keep a brother down. Clown, please. Let's place the blame where it belongs. I believe your antisocial behavior is the real problem. I'll tell you what the real problem is. The real problem is you're nothing but a tool of the man. You are living Another in a fantasy world. You want to blame everybody but yourself. You want to break the rules. I'm not a dumb Mr. Clown. 
I don't, don't think, think so. Wednesday, you start your new job. But I got a job, honey bunch. I'm a clown, remember? You're not a clown. You're a buffoon. I'm talking about a real job, Herman. An entry-level position at that fancy new restaurant I told you about. Not Shea Whitey. Yes. Look, it's high time you stop playing the fool. Get yourself out of that ridiculous outfit and into a regular suit. You know, Herman, I can just picture it. You wearing one of those nice little red ballet jackets. If you're faithful and humble and do exactly what the man tells you, that means no hostility. They might even let you inside the restaurant. The time has come for you to fit into society. Come on, Herman, give it up and join the establishment. The establishment, huh? Yes. You want me to put on a little monkey suit and park cars for the man, huh? Maybe if I do real good, I can move up to washing dishes. Then maybe waiting tables. Who knows? Maybe five or six years later, I'll be able to see Whitey himself. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yes, Herman, I would. I don't think so. Homie, don't play that. I'm telling Dad. Hmm. Now I wonder where those sweet little children's went. There he is. I told you he'd still be here. Another clown trick, huh? Yeah! So you can fall down laughing while they degrade and shame myself for your amusement, huh? Yeah! You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah! Hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me! Now, get around, little chickadees. Homie's got a little love story to tell you. Ooh. Now, which one of you kicked me in my behind earlier? Okay, you get up here and be my assistant. Yeah! <laughs> now, Aww. once upon a time, two lonely hearts came together. Woo -woo. Just wow. like this. <laughs> <laughs> then love poured all out from their hearts. Nice and thick, like. <laughs> Until homie realized that it was just a trick to whiten him up, like so. And it made his heart beat over and over and over again. The end. So what has our little lesson taught us, if nothing else, children? Oh, we don't play that. Very good. Now let's sing a little homie love song. You do back up for me, would yeah. you? Love is bad. Love is sad. sad. Love ain't glad. glad. Love is something you wish you'd never had. Cause love takes your heart and kicks 
sit around the room, then them tribes will set you up and send you to jail. It'll make you unhappy for the rest of your life. I said, back me up. Make me feel go to jail. Make me feel back Hey, hey. Hey. The white girl's on beat. Sunday night, 8 o'clock. Peace.